you go on the TV, you just don't realise what stress it puts on the farm. And, you know, when you can't sell cows in market and get a good price, you just got to get £10 or £5 a cow and just, they just go to slaughter. They just got mm. corn and distillments and they're just shot. And it, it, it's such a waste. And also, you know, with the beef as well, you can't sell them at a young age. Nobody wants them because they've got to keep them longer to fatten them. So you've got to keep them for about 15, 18 months. Then you can sell them then. Mm. It's just so hard. Oh. So, and what's happened to this morning? Can you just sort of tell me what's happened to this morning with the reactors? Well, yes, we've got one, there's one reactor that will go as soon as possible. It has to be isolated and the milk doesn't go in the tank. Is she in calf? She's in calf, yeah. She's, she's calf back in, um, back in the winter and now she's in calf again, 77 days after calving. And she's in calf for freezing, so obviously we're losing that as well. Um, and then yeah. we've got four, four, what they call uh, inconclusive cows. Those um, will obviously be tested again next time. And if they are inconclusive next time, they will automatically go again. You haven't got to wait for them to be a reactor. They That's will just it. purely go. That's right. So, um, yeah, so potentially at the moment it's only one. And then do the 60 day tests carry on until you get yeah, two clear ones? Yeah, we have to get two clear tests to be clear. Then if we did get that, we then have to retest in six months time. And if we're clear then, we then go on to 12 monthly. Mm. So after 12 months, you test again. Mm. And if you're clear, then you test another 12 months. But once you're in TV and once you've had cattle that go on TV and they have lesions, you're then put on what's called oh, I can't think what it's called severe interpretation. That's right. So that means that a little lump, when you're reading it, it's a big lump. You don't have so much of a leeway yeah. with it. You know, you go in if it's a small lump and it automatically goes over the pressure yeah. and it's a reaction. How, how big is your herd? How many? Because it seems to be a huge process and you had so many, you had about 12 or 14 people here the other day helping. I mean, is it? Oh, yeah, so you've got all that expenses as well. And how many ca um, cows do you uh, have? We've got 200 and, uh, sorry, we've got 260 cows. And all together on the farm is about 480 animals. And everything is tested hot from anything under 42 days. Yeah. And yeah. Will, you ha will there be any investigation of the um, badgers in your area? Has no. anything happened? I doubt it. No, I don't think so. No, I don't think so. No, it's no nobody comes around and and see how many badges we've got. I mean, we know how many badges we've got. Mm. We also know how many deer we have on the farm as well. Mm. We have a lot of deer on the farm. Yeah. And also my husband, he saw a sick badger back in the winter that was in our watershed that didn't have any hair on its back. And, you know, that one was ill. See, in the real world, with you and I, when we're, if, if there's an epidemic of sickness going around, you isolate and then you, you eradicate the source or, or control the source and treat it, don't you? That's right. Why, yeah. why does this happen in, 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 in farming? Well, it, it's just because now they're protected, you can't sort them out, can you? You can't. Um, if, if the Minister for Agriculture, Secretary of State for Agriculture is here now, what would you be telling him or her? Out, they? They just need to be thinned out, don't they? There's just miles too many of them around. There's just miles too many of them. They just need to sort them out. I mean, if there's TB in badgers, why aren't they being shot? Why aren't they being tested yeah. in 60 days? Yeah, that's my point. Why don't we sort of, like, why isn't the source of these? Why is it left for the farmers to have to do the, the animals all the time, the cows? Mm. It'll get to a point where the farmers will give up. They won't bother having animals. And who's going to supply us with all the meat that we need in England? Yeah. Francis is going to do it. And I 
often the general public don't really understand the, the, um, the difficulties that farmers face. No, I don't um, think they do, but then I suppose they'll turn around and say, well, that's your life, you know, you've got to put up with it. Yeah. But then, you know, if, if you've had, um, it's like in the, in the garden, isn't it, if you're growing things, if you've got three plants, one's half dead and two are lively and healthy, would you pull up the, the healthy one or would you get rid of the the bad one, the one that's half dead. The same with the cows. You know, we've got lovely cows, mm. but this morning... How know, does it make you feel? I mean, so people I might say, well, farmers, you breed them, you know, they're just sort of means to an end. Do you, do you actually feel, get an emotional attachment to them? Oh, yeah. I mean, does it upset you today? It that does. You... I mean, I know every cow that we've got on the farm. And, you know, I can tell you some of them, who the mothers were, and... And that, you know, they are, you know, I've fed them all as baby calves. Oh. That's like bringing up a baby, isn't it? You know? Yeah. You can put them all that on the Facebook. Yeah. But yeah, you see. Yeah. Well, you I, th thanks, Helen. Very, 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 very